so today <coughs> today we are reading verse number 44 from Shishi Vilapa Kusumanjali. O oh, Devi. O oh, Devi. Oh, sorry. I, I'm sorry. Can you set me as a translator, please? I'm sorry. Actually, I did. I think you were... Okay. So verse 44 from Sri Sri Saranaga di tutto ok. O Devi, when he touches your lowered shoulders in the rasa dance, Krishna. The enemy of Mura looks like a full moon. Kala Nidhi shining <coughs> with an abundance of lust. O Kalavati Artistic girl, when will this maid servant joyfully place a garland of sweet jasmine flowers surrounded by wandering humming bees? on these shoulders. O oh, Devi, when he touches your lowered shoulders in the rasa dance, Krishna the enemy of Mura looks like a full moon, Kalanidi, shining with an abundance of lust. O Kalavati, artistic girl, When will this maid servant joyfully place a garland of sweet jasmine flowers surrounded by wandering humming bees on those shoulders? When the vision of the previous seva disappears, Shiragunath Dasa prays for direct service. Excuse me. Thank <laughs> you. 
after applying Shiradika's foot lap, he now proceeds with hanging a jasmine garland surrounded by sweetly humming bees around her neck. How many beautiful pastimes Tulasi remembers when she hangs this sweet jasmine garland on her shoulders. When she calls her Kalavati, she perceives the Rasa Lila. How sweet are Srimati's shoulders when she dances the Rasa and she is embraced by Rasa Vilasis, Krishna, the enjoyer of the Rasa dance, by his strong arts. How many arts Mohana shows? That is why he is called Kalaniti, the ocean of arts. And Radhika is called Kalavati, the artistic girl. Rasavati, tasty Radhika sports with the greatest Rasika, Mohana, in the wonderful artistic Rasa Lila. How many cupids faint when they see their beauty. The Kadamba trees provide a cool shade and their flowers give a nice scent. Mohana plays his enchanting murali flute, holding it to his sweet lips that are the friends of the beautiful Banduka flower. While millions of copies worship his moon-like face with the blue lotus flowers of their eyes. Although there are millions of copies in the Rasa dance, Kalavati Radha gets special attention. A sweet remembrance of this Rasa festival awakens in Tulasi's heart and she infuses that relish in Swamini's heart. One person's feelings are thus transferred 
to another person's heart. Just as a person can have devotion infused within his heart by associating with a great devotee. The devotee should serve Swamini and make her float on the waves of the proper moods at the same time. How can we serve like this unless our hearts are qualified for these feelings? We must transfer this joy to the heart of Mahabhav personified Shiradika. We serve Sringara, Krishna, the personification of the transcendental erotic flavors through Mahabha Shri Radhika the personification of the greatest ecstatic love and we serve Mahabha through Sringar Radhe Radhe Radhe, that's me. Uh, I think that we can shortly stop here. And because there is few important things, I exchanged the messages with uh, Gopinath and he said that we can share something so that Gurudev will feel and jump with his sharing. So please give that me some secret. blessing. Or I'm gonna run the secret between you and me. Ah, I'm sorry. I have to defend myself. Okay. Jananda, he's also with us. I didn't see him. Just a second. Rade, Rade. Oh, Rade, Rade, Jananda Maharaj. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. Okay. Um, I will just read this. Uh, uh, actually, where to start? Uh, First sentence appears, Sri Raghunata Das prays for direct service. This sentence is very often on all purports which Ananta Das Babaji is writing. And it's very important to understand properly that when the visions are coming to Raghunath, he is in his Swarup, like Tulasi, and he perceives and serves directly Swamini. But when the vision is finished, when the finish, when <clears throat> when the vision is finished, 
he is coming in Sadakadeha, but he is not forgetting the mood of Radha King Karibhava. In Sadaka Deha or in Siddha Deha, he is always in the flow of the same mood. And in that mood, in his Sadaka body, he is showing us, aspirants, Sadaka, that even in Sadaka body, we have to be always 24-7 in the mood of Manjari Bhav. It's not easy, but this is the practice of Sadak. And Gurudev, a lot of times stressing how important it is to be aware of our spiritual identity during our existence in Sadakavish. And Raghunath here is showing through his own example then when Vini vision is finished, he is still immersed in the waves of devotion of service and he is crying, he is praying, please Radha, put me near you, I want to serve you directly and this is my only desire only desire. This kind of emotion is typical for Radharani's Kinkaris, Radharani's Dasis. And we Sadakas have to feel the emotions of Nitya Siddha, Manjaris, eternally perfect Manjaris like Raghunath, Rupa, Sanatana, and so on. Because on the second page of this purport, Baba is saying that one very nice think one person's feelings are thus transferred to another person's heart just as a person can have devotion infused within his heart by associating with the great devotee. For my, from my angle, from my humble understanding, that's the key formula for our sadhakas. To always be in the proper association of sadhus, of rasik, Bhaktas, because we need their feelings. They have to, we have to pray that they infuse their feelings in our hearts. Because ordinary jiva conditioned jiva, conditioned soul, has a conditioned feelings. And it's lacking this deep, sensitive devotional feelings. 
We need help. We cannot do it alone. We need help for someone from someone who has these feelings. And this is the reason why Baba is saying once person feelings are thus transferred to another person's heart. This is Kripa. This is Kripa. Just as a person can have devotion infused within his heart by associating with the great devotee. From my personal understanding, this is the key point, key formula for success in spiritual life. Then, Baba is continuing. Devotees should serve Swamini and make her float on the waves of the proper moods at the same time. How? My question is how we can understand Radhika's mood and how we can properly serve her according to her mood. If her eternal dasi didn't infuse this spiritual transcendental love emotions in our heart. And this is not possible. We need to be infused that we can understand and feel Radhika's mood and also the mood of her maidservants. And many times Guru Dev said we have to adjust to the Guru mood, mood of the Guru. So this is the first step, first training. Yeah. And now Baba is continuing, how can we serve, <laughs> yes, like this? Unless our hearts are qualified for these feelings. How can we serve? If our hearts are not qualified for these feelings. Because this devotional service is service from the heart. So, when these feelings of sadhus, very intimate servants of Radhika, comes in the heart of Sadaka, then we can taste What does it mean, Kalanidi and Kalavati? And we can taste the service which Tulasi wants to offer. So we need help. But we have to pre be prepared to receive the help. And then Kalanidi and Kalavati mm. 
be very tasteful. They lila. Their lila will be very, very tasteful. And then we can penetrate in all these words, but not because they are words, Sanskrit words or English words, German words, Croatian words, no. Because in these words we will feel the feelings and then all, everything will be revealed to our heart and expressed also in our mind. Jananda Maharaj, please. Yes. Very beautiful, very beautiful explanation. Um, today, uh, in Russian class, uh, we have, uh, we are reading and uh, some questions and answers. We are discussing the uh, same things. <clears throat> so, in the Baba said, in Bhaiti Bhakti, we may get, even though we attach some fruity work, still we may get. But the Raganuga Bhajan, Raganuga Bhakti, it, without mercy of uh, Raganuga Bhakta, Rashika Bhakta, we cannot get it. Why? Because, because Raganuga Bhakti is very internal thing. By the bhakti is very external, but uh, Raganuga bhakti, Raga bhakti is very much internal thing. And we need, Goranga Babu said, mm. feeling. Without feeling, it is difficult to enter it. And what kind of feeling we need it? We need feeling of Rupa Manjari. We need feeling of Rati Manjari. We need feeling of our Guru Manjari. So if we don't know the feeling of uh, Manjari and Kinkari, how can we enter the kind of uh, meditation? So, uh, Guru Dev also always stressing, feeling, feeling. So, this is, and uh, we are so dull, I'm so dull. So, sometimes we cannot uh, feel anything. But if we fortunate to associate some Rashika Vaishnava, then Rashika Vaishnava's mercy, our heart will melt it. Then we can feel and we can taste and we may realize it. Especially this Virapakshumanzari is, is great mercy for us. Also, Anandas Babaji Maharaj's purport give us so much uh, energy and so much feeling so much enlightenment.
And we are very fortunate to have a, this kind of association. Gurudev always give us this association. Actually, today I, in Roshan class, I told, and actually, this is great mercy upon us. Because usually Gurudev want to enter Bhajan. I'm feeling Gurudev want to enter Bhajan. Lira, Nitya Lira, he want to enter Nitya Lira. But he's, he has great mercy. So he give us his associations. And he give us, he infuse his feeling upon us. So we are very thankful also, Gurudev and other Lasik devotees, like uh, Goranga Pabu, you know, and uh, many devotees. I'm very much thankful. Sorry, short. <laughs> so please go ahead. Yes, Vasamayi. The devotee should serve Swamini and make her float on the waves of the proper moods at the same time. How can we serve like this unless our hearts are qualified for these feelings? We must transfer this joy to the heart of Mahabhava personified, Shiradika. We serve Sringara, Krishna, the personification of the transcendental erotic flavors. Through Mahabha, Shirada, the personification of the greatest ecstatic love. And we serve Mahabha through Svingara. Shilanarutam Takur Mahashai sings. The love of Radha and Mohana is purer than gold, molten a hundred thousand times. And this love makes high waves in the ocean of Rasa. Let us relish this prema with our chakora bird-like eyes and meditate on this transcendental karma, Cupid, Mohana, and Rati, Radhika. For they are the friends of ecstatic love. Shiradika is Mohana's dear most beloved. 
she is basically in opposition to him. And she is very enchanting. Having the luster of a golden Keshara flower. Her red sari shows her passionate love for Mohana. And her silken blue outer garments are very enchanting, decorated with jeweled ornaments. Drink their nectarian forms and pastimes with your eyes and sing their glories, being their female assistant absorbed in bliss. Nicely serve Kishora Kishori who are unknown to the Vedic rules and who sit on a jeweled platform. When we serve the Mahapani, great words of the Acharyas. Our hearts will become qualified. The Vani itself will bring the qualification. Prema Bhakti Chandrika says, Only in the company of devotees one can blissfully discuss Mohana's Rasika pastimes in Vraja in a loving, devotional way. This process of hearing, chanting, and remembering the Rasika pastimes of Praja is again illuminated by the best of devotional practice, Nama Sankirtana. Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. I'm sorry that I interrupted you because another point, like a key point, appears here in this small section. When we serve the Mahavani, great words of Acharyas, our hearts will become qualified. The Vani itself will bring the qualification. So many times we heard how listening of Mahavani, great golden words of our Acharyas are important. And Baba is putting another dim dimension of this. And he said, these words, this Mahavani itself will bring qualification. So if you can notice, 
there is deep connections between feelings, emotions, which tzedakah has to be infused, and connection with this Mahavani, great golden transcendental words of sadhus. Emotions are infused through the words, not only words, but Baba is stressing here Mahavan, importance of Shravanam, Kirtanam, and Smarana, what we heard. If we didn't properly uh, heard something, then we cannot have a proper smarana. It's not possible. Because we will always think on our own way without following the words. Because behind the words is the heart of sadhu. He is infusing from his heart through his lips the words in our ears. And these wor words, sorry, these words will bring qualification, which all of us need. It's never enough qualifications. We cannot be saturated with qualification. We need more, 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 more. And in Prema Bhakti Chandraka, Narottam Thakur is confirming this and say only in the company of devotees one can blissfully with great joy, with happiness in the heart, discuss Krishna's Rasika pastimes in Vraja in a loving, devotional way. In the company of devotees. I think a few weeks ago we were talking about Harinama Sankirtana, in the company of devotees. And Gurudev mentioning Prabhupada also said, in the company of devotees, not Gyanis, not Yogis, not Karmis, but Rasik devotees. In their company, when we listen and sing Hari Nama, then our heart will melt and change. Kevala Bhakata Sang. If you remember the word, Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakata Sadma. Udrushtu Kevala Bhakata. Kevala Bhakata, pure, pure, pure devotees who are radikas, servants, or this is what us, what is interesting for us. Kevala Bhakati Sama. And that devotees, Bandomu is Savadana, that devotees we have to serve very very nicely. Bando Mui Sava, carefully, very carefully. With all our heart, 
mind, intelligence, body and words. Because we can receive from them Kevala Bhakti. Most pure aspect of Bhakti. Jayananda Maharaj, do you want to say something or someone else? I'm listening to your sweet word. I remember. Uh, our association with Gurudev or uh, Acharyas, two kinds of associations, Bapu and Bani. Bapu means uh, like body, physical body, like Sadaka, Sadaka Deha. So whenever Gurudev was present, with us, we should associate personally with Gurudev. We Gurudev sometimes massage, serving prasada, or uh, you know, listening his his words, try to understand his wishes, his desires, and his feeling. And through a physical association, we could have a bani. Also, sometimes we can get bani from these shastra. Ragnadas Goswami's Pirapak Manjari. This also Mahabani. This Bani is so powerful and penetrate our heart. Also, Prabhupada say, Prabhupada accept Gurudev's words his life and soul. And then, Gurudev's mercy, he could get everything. Prabhupada was, uh, when Prabhupada met his Gurudev, I think 1922 or something. So he get the word, you should, uh, you should share in English. And also 1936, before Guru Devas was entered Nittarira, he also writing a letter to Guru Dev. Guru Dev gave him same answer. And Prabhupada embraced this Mahabani. So if we also accept Mahabani is our life and soul, then everything, uh, everything revealed by the mercy of Acharyas and Gurudev's also, another point, this is say, only in the company of devotee, one can blissfully discuss Krishna's Lashik pastime in Braja. So, if we want to discuss Harikata, we need Sajati Sangha. We need same goal 
same feeling. So our desire is to become Radha's Dasi, Manjari, and Kinkari. If we want to become Manjari and Kinkari, then we should associate same mood of Vaishnava, Rashika Vaishnava. Then our desire is fulfilled. And why? Because our heart is like a crystal. If we put something, like say, if we put red colors one in, in front of crystal, a crystal become like red one. And if we put yellow one, then crystal become yellow. So similarly, our heart become colored by uh, his her associations. So this is a very important uh, phrase. This is uh, so uh, Golan Pabu. Uh, show us how important Mahabani and also Sadhu Sangha. That's I want to a little bit <laughs> add your words. Shirade. Sri Sanatana Goswami teaches in Brihad Bhagavatamrita. From devotional service that consists of meditating on the Vraja pastimes and singing about them, and which is illuminated by Nama Sankirtana of the Beloved, Vraja Prema will arise. On this, Sri Sanatana himself comments, although Gana or singing is the same as Nama Sankirtana of the Beloved. It is still mentioned separately because it is the most intimate item of loving devotional practice. or the Nama Sankirtana of the Beloved is separately mentioned because that is the definition of the treasure of Prema. The word Natam Sayoha brings Swamini's beautiful shoulders on the path of our memories. How sweet are Sri Radhika's shoulders during the Rasalila. Her shoulders are lowered Because Rasa Vilasi Mohana keeps his big rod like arms on them.
how many arts of Mohana are revealed? Kalavati Sri Krishna Kalanidhi Kalavati Sri Radha Kalanidhi Sri Krishna Artistic Radha and Mohana How beautiful is their expert meeting Without accepting the mood of a maidservant, this beauty is hard to imagine. In his narration of the Rasa Lila, Shishuka Muni has certainly mainly described Naika Bhava, the relationships of independent heroines with Krishna. But it is not that he did not mention Saki Bhava at all. The mood of the gopis who preferred to arrange for Radha and Mohana's meetings over their own meetings with Mohan. Manjaris are a kind of Sakis. They are dedicated to devotional service alone. It cannot be conclusively ascertained from the verses of Srimad Bhagavad Purana whether there were manjaris present during the Rasa dance or not. But Srila Kavi Karnapura writes in Ananda Vrindavana Champu his elaboration on the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavad about ansaris or maidservants in the Rasa dance. And Srimad Rupa Goswami has written a verse in his Utkalika Valari Stava about Manjaris in the Rasa Lila and about their superiority over Sakis. When will my heart be filled with pride as I see from afar how Mohana leaves all the lotus-eyed girls of Raja at the beginning of the Rasa dance in Vrindavana and takes you to a lonely place where he, under your command, decorates you with flowers. This verse particularly shows the presence of Manjaris in the Rasa dance and their usual uniquely fortunate position. Wherever Srimati is, there are her maidservants. Following her, like her shadow,
Shrimati cannot keep any secret, anything secret from them. For they are non-different from her life and her body. Radhe, Radhe. We can shortly stop here because in this paragraph it's very clearly visible potency of Mahavani. Through this Mahavani, which we just heard, we can have some kind of vision on the screen of our mind. Because through this Mahavani, we can open the window of confidential lilas. Or maybe it's better to say, this window is opening to us. And we can see this beautiful part of Rasalil. But also, through this Mahavani, there is different explanations which can clarify our own bhava. How? Because it explained very clearly the positions of Manjaris. Sometimes devotees can be confused. Where are the Manjaris in Rasa Lila? What they are doing? They are not mentioning in Bhagavata. And yes, they are not directly. But Bhakti Siddhanta said we have to feel their presence. And here we can see the proof of this. Who prepared Radhika for Rasalila? Who brought Radhika to Rasa Mandala, the circle of Rasa? And who was watching the time when something has to help to Radhika, some seva to do? but from the distance. Manjaris are not engaged in dancing, but they are looking, they are watching, and they are waiting. They are watching, they are drinking with their eyes the dance, artful, girl, and Kalanidi, artistic Krishna, how they are dance, Yuga Lakishore, we can say, they are watching, but also they are waiting the moment, when can I serve? What can I do if this moment comes? So the position of Manjari in this Rasa Lila is hidden, but they are present. And especially they are present, like 
Rupa Goswami explained here in Utkali Kavalari. In their heart they are proud when they see how Radhika, because of momentary jealous feelings, she ran away from this circle of Rasa Lila and Krishna is abandoning all gopis and running towards her. In that moment, Manjaris, they were watching and they were waiting for that moment. And they are also running to help them in a lone place. to help them in their exchange of love. So this is the mood and the angle of Manjari Baba. How to perceive Rasalila and how to serve and be engaged in this beautiful life. I'm sorry I said something, maybe it's wrong. If you want to add, if Gurudev will help this fallen soul in this situation, otherwise I have to ask for the help of Jayananda and other great Rasik devotees who am I to speak about this so I would like to add a little bit one thing so sometimes we may ask and uh, Dasarira so Manjari is present or not present. Also Manjari is, is dancing or not dancing. Some devotee may ask something like that. So we are, we, our Manjari, we don't interesting, directly associate, associating Krishna uh, because we are Dasi of Radhika. So automatically, Dasi is just, uh, we are very ready to serve Radhika, Swamini. Therefore, we are not to enter Rasarira. We are watching. Also, we are preparing next seva. <laughs> so this is Ananta Das Baba was saying. So Manjar is so dedicated. They have no interesting personal pleasure or independent pleasure uh, apart from Radhika. Our Manjari's pleasure is, is pleasure. If Radharani happy, then Manjari will be happy. But, but Manjari does not expect his personal Pleasure. This is the most important thing for us. So, therefore, if we read Bhagatam, ordinary reading, we could not recognize uh, Manjari or Shukadeva did not mention Manjari, but 
but manjari is a shadow of radika swamini so means if some, some, somebody has manjari baba could see could do uh, could understand wh whenever swamini is going some manjari is following so this is quite important thing for us. And then, but if we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, and then more we could understand Radha's feeling. Also, Manjari's feeling also there, but there also sometimes they are very ordinary devotee, difficult to access diff, difficult to pick up but by the mercy of rashika vaishnava we could understand and this birapax manjari is so nice ragnar das was so nicely describing how manjari is uh, serving Radhika, or how Manjari is preparing their seva. Even, oh, you know, Lasarira or any tiny seva, Nikunja seva. So this is a very interesting point. Thank you very much. <laughs> rade, rade. Yeah. Is Gauravani, yeah. oh, but sorry, mom. So now, can you hear? I just wanted to uh, remember one point because it was a little bit hidden in the purport that Ratimanjari is infusing in Radharani's heart these uh, feelings. She is giving the feelings uh, from Krishna or the whole situation. She is infusing in Radharani. We heard the other way that it is infused in us through Guru Manjari and from the Mahavani, all such wonderful points, great points. And uh, but this point, I, I just want to frame again. Maybe you want to say a little bit about this again. And Gorapa, you want to say more, Gorapani? Gorapani, you want to I, say I'm, more? I'm sorry, but I'm translating. I just wanted to give a little bit inspiration in this in this way. Acha. So Gorapa, you want to say something? Please, Maharaj, you can do it now. So, so actually, uh, Swamini, Radharani and Moham, and Manjari and Radharani, or Manjari and Moham, they are they are always give each other some inspiration. 
So this is kind of loving exchange. This is amazing point Gorabani Pub uh, pointed out. Everything come from, you know, sometimes it is uh, everything come from, come from Radharani. That's also true. But also, sometimes Manjari give inspiration to Radharani and Mohan also. It's, it's, it's different situation. Manjari has kind of, uh, Manjari so much uh, so much seba, different kind of seba. So therefore, Gorabani Pabu's saying is really true. Like uh, sometimes, why devotee association is necessary? Or even sometimes, Gurudev also give good give this uh, inspiration to disciple or sometimes disciple give good some inspiration so because This is a mystery of like uh, uh, internal potency and uh, mystery of uh, say, yoga maya. <laughs> uh, because sometimes say, Guru Devs, sometimes it is say, Prabhupada used to say, or even Sadhu Maharaj Gurudev also sometimes say, Oh, my Gurudev sending this disciple to me to help me. Prabhupada mentioned many times, Oh, my Gurudev sending all of you to me. And sometimes, from beginning, I could not understand what Prabhupada is saying like this. But slowly, slowly, oh, this is true, really true. Gurudev is sending all these you know, people or student or disciple. If this feeling and realization come. This also Krishna's leader also. Because Krishna was sometimes big problem because Krishna could not see Swamini. Mohan could not see Radharani. And Mohan Bek Manjari. Please, Please give me your mercy. I have no chance to meet Swamini. Without your help, I have no way. And then <laughs> Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari. Okay, Mohan, please come with me. I may help you. Sometimes Radharani is so dis so distressed because Mohan does not appear in front of her. And Manjari said, Oh, don't worry, Swamini. I'm taking, I'll go search him and bring him back to you. No problem. Sometimes Manjari does. 
So this Manjari and Radharani and Mohan, they are each, they are so much related and depend on each other. So yogi, they are looking for Krishna or maybe Brahman, Brahman. But a difficult to catch Krishna because Krishna is so naughty. Krishna is so independent. <laughs> difficult to catch Krishna. But if we serve Swamini, Radharani, then Mohan has to come to us. So how Manjari is important? How Acharyas revealing <laughs> these things? So Gorabani Pabis give us so much inspiration upon us. So I think uh, you know he can we request him he he could share more. <laughs> One zero. Rade, Rade. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, could I just uh, add something to what you were speaking now? And thank you. Um, this inspired me very much about what you were saying in fusion and how actually it never ends. And also what Koravani was saying now, how Manjari is also infusing in Radhika. And I just wanted to read it, just a few sentences from a verse which is a little further in Vilapa Kusumanjali of really a perfect example of, uh, of this. <laughs> when uh, Radhika could not go to, Nandishva, to Nandagram and she could not see uh, Krishna and could not see if he was satisfied by the meal which she cooked with so much love, then she was eagerly waiting for Tulasi to come back. And when Tulasi was uh, in front of Radhika, then Swamini said, Tulasi, look at me just once. I'm so unfortunate that I could not see him personally. Let me see if he is hidden in your eyes. And then uh, Tulasi's eyes are looking at Swamini without blinking. Swamini's eyes become full of tears and her body is shivering of ecstatic love. When I look into your eyes, Swamini said, I can understand that you have seen him. What a wonderful service Tulasi is rendering by carrying Krishna's picture to Swamini in her eyes. This is just so beautiful. I have nothing to add. Thank you. So sweet. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Today was a beautiful sharing. Very nice. Beautiful. Full of Rasa. I'm proud of her. Rasa. Class also was very Jananda Maharaj friend, so beautiful. So nice. I'm so lucky. Thank you, Jananda. Thank you. Garanga Kumara. And your daughter, you also. And 
जय गुरुदेव